Colonials trust. 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 Believing in the power of playing as one. Colonials compete. Compete. Striving to win. Working harder to be better today than yesterday. Colonials take accountability. Accountability. Willing to answer for our actions. Colonials are family. 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 The name on the front before the name on the back. Colonials play with passion. 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 Every game, every shift, emotions on fire, driving everything we do. Our team. Our story. Our team. Our story. Our team. Our story. Road to Revolution. A season with Colonials hockey. Robert Morris was one of the 26 teams in college hockey with games the weekend before the holiday break. The Colonials hosted rival Mercyhurst on Saturday before taking the trek up I-79 to close the first half of the season Sunday. Six of the last 10 games in the all-time series between the teams have gone to overtime and the weekend would add to the trend. Saturday, a back and forth second period saw Timmy Moore score a power play goal off a shot by Eric Israel to give the Colonials a 1-0 lead. Back to Israel, wristing it in and it goes in! Eric Israel got that shot in from the top between the two circles, high on the slot, and it's one nothing RMU. Izzy on the board first. For the Colonials that may have been deflected by Timmy Moore. Mercyhurst scored moments later before Israel fired another shot that gave RMU a 2-1 lead. This time the puck hits a body and flies straight up into the air and lands behind the goaltender. But the Lakers finished the period strong, scoring two goals in the final two and a half minutes to take a 3-2 lead. The game-tying goal came in the third period on the power play, a first from the newest member of the, um, man advantage. Take that puck away. With shot is in from man! From distance! He scored that one from the bowling alley across the street, and it's 3-3, three three. all of you is tied it. That's a, that's a big goal for Robin. 3-3 the score through regulation and to overtime we go. An old-fashioned shootout, both teams pounding more than 40 shots on net, but the final one by Mercyhurst would end it. Lakers win 4-3 in the last seconds of OT, a tough end to a hard-fought game by the Colonials. We just made uh, you know, three or four pretty big errors, and you give a skilled team like that uh, some opportunities, they're going to capitalize, and they seem to uh, make the most of their chances tonight. So we didn't give them much, but uh, we've got to be tired defensively tomorrow night. We know how we need to play. Uh, guys are putting pucks deep, cycling hard, and uh, you know, hitting us up high at the point. So I think uh, we know we need to play against our D, get pucks deep, and I think the guys saw uh, we had success with that. So uh, hopefully, put a full 60 tomorrow uh, together, just like that. You know, it kind of hurts. You know, coming it could have if we got this up this weekend, uh, could have finished the first half in first place in the Atlantic, and uh, you know, it's just just stings. But we know what we have to do tomorrow, and. Uh, accomplish our goal. Just uh, compete for a full 60. We, uh, you know, we took a, I think it was in the second period, took two and a half minutes off and against good teams, you know, they put the puck in the net and that's what happened tonight and uh, we just got to come out and play a full 60 and, uh, you know, hopefully the, the outcome's better. Wake up the next day and do it all again, this time a bus trip up I-79 to the Lakers home in Erie. Pre-game warm-ups, everyone pumped for the last game before break. All the goals in Sunday's game were scored in a back and forth second period. Israel strikes for his second of the weekend, this one on the power play to put RMU up one to nothing. Mercyhurst came back with a pair of goals to take a 2-1 lead before Brady Ferguson scored his NCAA best eighth power play goal of the season, tying the game at two. RMU outshot the Lakers 16 to five in the third period, but couldn't get one past Colin D'Augustine. Another game to OT and this one finishes a tie. The Colonials pick up a point and finish tied for second place in Atlanta hockey headed into the break. We have a young team, obviously it's been discussed day in, day out since, uh, since the season started and we've had some, some, some success. Obviously this weekend we, we wanted more points, but in general as a first half, uh, we're happy with where we're at. I believe we're tied for second right now. So we'll take that going in the second half. I mean, we're picked sixth and we're working hard and we're still getting better every day and we're ready to we're already ready to come back second half and make some noise in the Three Rivers. I think we've had a pretty successful uh, first half. I mean, I don't think we, we've done, we've definitely done better than a lot of people predicted, but we knew from the start that we weren't going to be a bottom half team. Like from the right from the beginning, we have a winning culture on this team, and I mean, it's always 100% effort, and you know, it's, it's showing, and it's really, uh, 
it's really nice to see the young guys chipping in and everyone's kind of just molding well. It's a great, great team atmosphere. Yeah, overall, I think uh, we've done a great job. Um, every weekend, um, been improving, especially with a young, uh, inexperienced group like we have. Um, and we're definitely uh, learning from every weekend and trying to build uh, and take steps forwards every weekend. So I think we've done a great job of doing that. Um, team chemistry wise, it's been unbelievable. Um, so much fun with this group of guys. Um, on and off the ice, so no, it's been a really fun first half, and I think uh, as long as we keep improving and taking their strides in uh, the right direction, that second half's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, especially down the stretch. With a 9-6-3 and record at the midway point of the season, RMU is in the midst of a tight battle at the top of the Atlantic Hockey standings. After back-to-back -back regular season titles without a trip to the NCAA tournament, the Colonials captains are keeping the team's focus on getting better game by game with their eyes on the ultimate prize. I mean, we just want to keep building, get better every day. Uh, I mean, we look at a team like RIT who hasn't won a regular season title the last couple of years, but by playoff time, they're they're at their peak. You know, be at the, the best hockey we're playing has come. I guess it's late February, early March when playoffs start. I mean, it's it's incredible. I mean, some guys have stepped in right away and just uh, contributed. Um, they all contribute in their own way. You know, I mean, from guys playing fourth line, PP, PK, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, everyone has their own role, and we're winning because our team we're bonding well as a team and that's that's what really counts in the end. I think uh, moving forward here um, with the young group we just have to keep building like I said every weekend and uh, you know we play our best when we're playing simple hard hockey and um, I think tonight we played that way uh, so it's a good way to end the first half. Uh, we know uh, the type of uh, hockey we need to play when we get back so we can get in a bit of a roll. That can never be like good enough in the D zone so I think that um, our special teams has been awesome so that needs to keep rolling. Uh, certainly needs to increase our scoring five on five. Um, you know, just keep putting pucks on net. I think, again, tonight we did a great job with that. Um, a ton of shots and just couldn't get any breaks. But I think as long as we keep doing that, the 5-on-5 five five scoring will increase and that only help us down the stretch. Before they'll return to conference play, the team hosts the Three Rivers Classic at PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, December 29th and 30th. Looking to defend their second Confluence Cup title, facing Ferris State and either 6th-ranked Boston College or 14th-ranked Quinnipiac. All conference champions like the Colonials and all coming off NCAA tournament appearances last season. After winning it last year, I think um, you know we're pretty excited to go back to PPG and uh, got some young guys that want to play there and hopefully that'll be a good uh, good test for us. I mean, it's definitely uh, a treat coming back to play the Three Rivers. It's such a nice arena and uh, such a nice facility. So um, I know we're all looking forward to it. It's uh, great to be back at home for a few days, but I know we're all looking forward to playing. It's a pretty uh, good hockey when we get back to uh, Moon and play at PPG Paints. Prior to the Three Rivers Classic, players get a little gift from Santa. A break from the wear and tear of practice for eight days, coming back right after Christmas to gear up for the second half. A much needed holiday pit stop on the road to Revolution.